Okay, welcome back. I have something really cool that I want to share with you guys today, but but first let me give you a little bit of context. So if you followed this channel over the years, you know that I am big into the film look. Film is where I started, and film being a chemical process, unlike digital, it has a different way of interpreting and representing color, and it's something that I've always struggled with because as much as I love the convenience, the dynamic range, all the cool things that you get with digital photography, well, I miss the contrast and the colors of the film look. So I got this idea, and this was just for my own work, but I wanted a system that I could use with Adobe Lightroom or even Capture One, and I could start with a color profile that would essentially emulate the colors and the contrast curves of a specific film stock. So this would give me the look of, let's say, Fujifilm Velvia, Provia, Kodachrome, so on and so forth. But using this color profile would give me the options of using sliders underneath to get all the benefits of using a digital camera. So you have much more dynamic range, so you're able to rescue shadows or bring back highlights or even back off on the contrast if it's too much. Things that I couldn't do when I was shooting film. So what I wanted was a way to Fujify or Kodakify my digital images. If you follow me on Instagram, you've likely seen me messing around with a lot of the prototypes to these images, but I'm really excited because I have developed two sets of new presets, and these are compatible with Adobe Lightroom as well as Capture One. These are film simulations that I've been working on for really the last two years. These were not easy to do, and I went through a lot of versions before I landed on something that I felt good enough to use in my own work. And so now I'm making them available to you as well. So this project started around me trying to emulate various Kodachrome stocks, in particular the stuff that I shot, which was kind of the end of Kodachrome before it was discontinued. And there are a lot of different looks to Kodachrome over its decades of production, and so I kind of started going back to other examples and starting to emulate those as well. Now, Kodachrome is interesting because it changed a lot during the time it was produced. There was the original Kodachrome, there was K12, K14 process, and these all had different looks, and you got even more different results depending on how it was printed. So once I was happy with the Kodachrome presets, then I got curious about emulating other film stocks I used to shoot, like Kodak E100G or E100GX. There's also an E100VS, which had a really nice saturated look, as well as Elite Chrome 100. And then there's the C41 films, which have a very different contrast profile. Things like Kodak Gold 100, Kodak Ektar, Kodak Portra 160C. Another one I really liked was Kodak 160VC. So I was enjoying getting back to the Kodak look, but we're not going to stop there. I decided to tackle Fujifilm as well. Now, just like Kodak, there were a lot of great Fujifilm stocks that are really hard to find, and they're expired if you do, because they don't make them anymore. So things like Fujifilm Eterna. There's also Fujifilm Natra 1600, which is a great low-light film. Then you had the Pro Editions, like Fuji Pro 160C. There was also Fuji Pro 160NS, which had a really natural saturation to it. Of course, there was Fuji Superior, which you could pretty much pick up at any drugstore. I shot a ton of that back in the day. Then we move on to the Chrome films. So there's Fuji Chrome Astia, also Provia 100F, as well as Sensia. And then there's the ultra high contrast slide films like Velvia 50, Velvia 100, and even the very rare Fortia SP. So that is Fujified and Kodakified. Now, where can one get these fine presets, you might be asking? There is a link below this video that you can click on, or you can just head over to theartofphotography.tv slash presets. I do want to note that I'm having an introductory sale right now, so all presets are 40% off, and you can get Kodakified and Fujified as a bundle together and save money there. I'm just now realizing this may be cheaper than film. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys find these useful. Head over and check them out. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, later.